Hartsville kids. I'm Pastor Julia and I'm wondering today if any of you have had a birthday recently. Well, unfortunately, I haven't got, gotten to have a birthday since July, which was a really, really long time ago. It was seven months ago. And this week, I was thinking about how long it's going to be until I get to have another birthday. And then I started thinking, what would it be like if every day was my birthday? And if every single day I could celebrate, I could be a birthday princess every single day. And every day I would wear my crown and I would have balloons everywhere and I would have my friends over and everyone would give me fun presents with big bows like this. And after we celebrated, everyone would sing to me and then we would all eat cupcakes. And then what if I went to sleep and the next morning I woke up and I did it again and I still got to wear my hat and then I got presents and then I got a cupcake. And then I went to bed and the same thing happened. I got to wear my crown and I got to get a present and I got to eat a cupcake. Well, I wonder how many times it would be fun if every day was my birthday. What do you think? How many days in a row could be my birthday and it would still be really fun? Well, I really like cupcakes, so I think that I would probably like getting to eat cupcakes every day, at least for a while. But you know, as I'm thinking about it, I think maybe if every single day was my birthday, it would start to feel less special maybe. I so look forward to my birthday and it's so much fun to celebrate, but if that was every day, then it probably wouldn't matter as much. Well, that kind of reminds me of what our scripture lesson is for today. In our story today, Jesus takes two of his best friends and they go and they climb up a really big, tall mountain. And when they get there, something amazing happens, which is that they hear God speaking. First, there's these big clouds and then out of the clouds comes this big, booming voice that says, this is my son, listen to him. And then all of the sudden, in the middle of this group, there show up figures who are really important people from their Bible stories that they learned growing up. And they're all together and they can hear God's voice. What do you think it would be like if that happened to you? That would be pretty crazy, right? Well, Jesus's friends think that it's so wonderful that they really just want to stay. They even suggest that they should build some houses so that everyone can stay there and hang out all the time. But Jesus says that it's actually time to go back down the mountain and go back to their normal life. In the same way that it isn't our birthday every day, Jesus had to teach the disciples that it couldn't be a really big special day every single day. You see, God is present with us even on ordinary days, on Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday and Friday and Saturday and Sunday, no matter whether it's a special day, whether it's your birthday or Christmas or Easter or the 4th of July, or if it's just a regular day. And God is present with us all of the time. And so every day matters. And not every day has to be a special day. So even though you love your birthday, it's important to have ordinary time as well. And just like the disciples, we can learn to go down from a mountain or wake up the day after our birthday. And God's still there and things can still be good even when it isn't a special time. Let's pray. 
God, thank you that you're with us on special days and thank you that you're with us on normal days too. Help us to trust that having normal days makes our special days even better and help us to love you every single day. We love you and it's in Jesus' name we pray, amen.